Imagine Selling the Eiffel Tower The tale of Victor Lustig reveals a master con artist's exploit. We'll be revealing how Lustig capitalized on trust and gullibility, leaving Parisians and history baffled. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of the latest updates on our channel. Meet Victor Lustig, a man with an Austrian-Hungarian background, born back in 1890. This guy wasn't your ordinary citizen. He had the talent for causing trouble. Starting as a panhandler and sneaky pickpocket, he climbed the ladder of deception to become a full-fledged con artist. But here's the juicy part. He didn't stop at just swindling people. He turned card playing into an art of its own. He got so good at it that even bystanders couldn't see through his tricks. As time rolled on, the wordsmiths behind True Detective Mysteries couldn't help but fall in love with Lustig's card manipulation talent. His life of trickery led him down some wild paths, including a notorious scam known as the Romanian Money Box. He peddled tiny contraptions covered in useless knobs and levers, boldly claiming they could whip up money using radium. And believe it or not, he managed to trick some overly eager investors into coughing up their hard-earned cash, all for the hope of striking it rich down the line. Lustig had a way with words, largely due to his image as a charming and sophisticated gentleman. Secret Service agents described him as mysterious as a wisp of cigarette smoke and as attractive as a young girl's fantasy. This master of deception was known to have used more than 40 different fake names during his career. He was clever enough to carry a separate passport for each of his fake identities. This craftiness allowed him to effortlessly cross borders and mingle with various social circles. In the 1920s, Lustig stumbled upon a remarkable fact. The iconic Eiffel Tower, built back in 1889 for the Grand World's Fair, wasn't designed to stand the test of time beyond two decades. The consequence? It needed frequent and costly repairs, and this is where Lustig's scheme took flight. Posing as a high-ranking government official from Paris, he arranged meetings with scrap metal dealers across the city. His convincing tale was that the government planned to scrap the Eiffel Tower itself to save a fortune. Lustig's ruse was a work of art. He went the extra mile to make his story foolproof, forging documents with the official French government seal and conducting his meetings at a hotel nearby. The con man didn't shy away from making his intentions clear to all interested parties. He was ready to sell the Eiffel Tower to anyone willing to dismantle it and recycle the metal. Andrew Poisson, a trader, found himself caught in a web of this con act. He offered a staggering $70,000 in cold hard cash, equivalent to more than a million dollars in today's value, to secure what he believed was a guaranteed winning bid. Little did he know, this sum was a ticket to his downfall. The weight of humiliation kept him from reporting the theft allowing the crafty swindler, Lustig, to slip away to Paris. Lustig's appetite for fraud knew no bounds. The following year, he tried his duplicitous hand once more, this time almost sealing another fraudulent deal until law enforcement intervened, forcing him to flee the country with empty pockets. Landing in the United States, Lustig continued his con artist lifestyle, even conning the infamous Al Capone. Cunningly, he lured Capone, aka Scarface, into an investment scheme, promising to double his money. Yet, perhaps gripped by fear, Lustig returned Capone's cash, claiming the plan did not go smoothly. Like many criminals, Lustig's downfall took place for his thirst for material gain. Despite his talent for staying ahead of the law, his luck ran out on the night of September 28, 1935. FBI agents G.K. Firestone and Fred Gruber 
followed him through the city streets and ended up arresting him. Tried and sentenced to 20 years, Lustig's life took a tragic turn when pneumonia claimed him two years later on the unforgiving shores of Alcatraz. And with this, we reach the end of today's video. What do you think about today's video? Share your opinion. Do let us know in the comment section below. And if you like today's video, give us a thumbs up and do not forget to hit the subscribe. Share this video with your friends and family and press the bell icon for more upcoming videos. We'll see you next time with a newer video. Stay tuned and take care.